As many of you know already, I have done a Freedom of Information Act request and email inquiries directly to Placer County Sheriff's Office in regards to the Kylie Rodney case. And I let you all know I was speaking to Lieutenant Richard Gray. It appears Lieutenant Richard Gray has been promoted. He's now Sergeant Richard Gray of the Placer County Sheriff's Office. And he did send me another email. They didn't answer the eight deadly questions or respond to the Freedom of Information Act request yet. But he did take the time out of his day to email me and let me know why certain things are going to come up. And it's almost like he knew where I was headed. <laughs> Smart guy. Maybe he'll make detective. Um, but he bothered to tell me some information that he kind of knew I was going to ask because of the Freedom of Information Act request that he said in this email they are going to respond to. However, he had to tell me something about it before they released that so that I wouldn't be, you know, left with questions or upset about it. And I appreciate that very, very much. And you all need to appreciate it too. Showing appreciation at this point for being open, honest, and transparent is very important to show that we're not trying to create another Ryan Upchurch storm. We all know that Placer County Sheriff's had to contact Ryan and tell him to stop messing with people's heads and sending them to their office to ask ridiculous questions while he was doing his videos binging out all high and getting people super excited by the hundreds of thousands okay so we need to show them the opposite of that we need to show that we're trying to do some good here and calm the storm so that everyone can see clearly all right so i need your help with that right now okay i can't tell you today what he said because it has to go all together with the freedom of information act request and get this what he told me raised some eyebrows on my face and i only have two of them and left me with a huge question that I know you're all going to ask me right away because if I didn't have an answer for that question, it would be mighty suspicious. And so I just said, I just emailed him back right away. I said, I appreciate you taking the time to tell me that. However, everyone on the planet is going to ask me this question. So I'm just going to go ahead and ask you and get it straight from you so I can give it to them. And I asked him, why is that a fact? And can you prove to me that that's a fact? And I got another reply. And he gave me a perfectly good logical explanation and provided me with solid proof of what he was saying okay so I had questions that you were gonna have about this whole ordeal and he answered that question uh, professionally he answered it honestly and he answered it with the proof that I asked for and you're gonna get to see. I'm gonna give you that, but I have to make sure it all goes out at the same time. So that being said, I'm not doing Crime Wire tomorrow. I'm also super tired. I've been working my ass off. I never get any sleep and I need a break. So I'm not gonna do the live show. It's very stressful for me to do the live show. So many tech things go wrong. They're getting better. 
I think I finally got everything worked out so that we won't have jumpy video. The week before we had low quality 240p video. Now we got it up to HD video, but it was jumpy. The next one's going to be better and better. They're going to keep getting better. And especially if I can afford to get the equipment I need to replace. That being said, the whole show is very stressful to try to make a live show work and make sure everything's working and everybody can hear me. Videos are easier to make because if something's wrong, I can just edit it and fix it before it goes on YouTube. All right. So I'm not going to do Crime Wire tomorrow. I still have it scheduled. I just bumped it up to next Sunday, not tomorrow. Okay. That gives them time to respond. That gives me time to to do more because now I have to do another inquiry. Like I said, this is going to go in phases. So I'm going to go ahead and do that right now, today, so that it has time to unfold. And then I will have results to share with you on Crime Wire, not just talk about what I already talked about in the video yesterday. So, Sergeant Richard Gray needs to be thanked right now by all of you. Right now, I really need you to do this. Every single one of you, even if you don't like me, do this for Kylie Rodney and Truth. All right, do it, please. I need you to go to the link in the pinned comment and click on it. You're gonna see a picture of Sergeant Richard Gray on the Placer County Sheriff's Facebook page. I want you all to say a little thank you to Placer County Sheriff's Office for helping Parish Productions do an accurate and honest documentary on the Kylie Rodney case and get rid of all the rumors. I need you guys to go say that or something like that so that while they're mulling it over, they're going to get some positive feedback from people outside of their area for a change. All right. I need you all to help me take a minute to leave a three word. Thank you. Or a two sentence. Thank you. Don't mention my personal name. They know who I am, but I want this to be much more widespread, okay? Not just one person. So you can mention Parish Productions do Documentary, okay? P-E-R-I-S-H, Parish Productions. You can thank them for assisting Parish Productions. Don't mention me because this is all of us, all right? And I need it to sound bigger to get answers so help me make it sound bigger guys we need to go thank them for the answers they've already given me we need you all to show them that this is going to be a positive thing and by releasing information they're going to be in better shape than they were before when they were getting blasted with ridiculous calls and emails because of people like Ryan Upchurch and Jared Lysak, who were perfectly fine lying to you all and making things more exaggerated for profit. Let's talk to the real people. There's still a few things in this case that I've never mentioned on YouTube or anywhere or to anybody that are still pending things in this case that need to be addressed and they will be in good time this is being done in sequence and believe it or not i'm quite happy with the way things are unfolding because it's going exactly as planned so at this time we have to let this thing unfold Give it a little time to breathe and I need all of you to take a minute and show some positive comments on the Placer County Sheriff's Office Facebook page 
about helping Parish Productions do an honest documentary on the Kylie Rodney case because that's what everyone wants. Please thank them and thank specifically Sergeant Richard Gray for assisting Parish Productions in doing an honest documentary on the Kylie Rodney case that will help everyone have peace of mind and, you know, have the real story, okay? Anybody that had nothing to do with it and values their job and their friends and their family and their, you know, relationship with their community, they're going to talk and tell us the things that we want to know that they're allowed to say because it will be a positive thing for a change. A whole new page. And I need you guys to help me make that happen right now. So please take just a minute of your time. I've put a year and a half of my life into this and took a lot of abuse, physical injuries, income loss. I suffered through my pets dying while everyone like Kevin Slees was mocking my dying cat on YouTube. It's been a very painful process for me. And if you could all just help me at this last stage, I would really appreciate it because I need you guys to do this. All right. We need to show them that giving us answers is going to be a positive thing and let a lot of people feel at ease and stop asking stupid questions, which to them is clearly a benefit because they don't like people calling them and emailing them and asking them stupid questions. Some of the questions we asked in our email inquiry might even sound stupid to them. They might have a perfectly logical explanation for one of those things. And that's why we need to show them that we're willing to accept the truth as long as they can prove it to us. And from what I've seen so far, that is the case. They are willing to prove things if the right questions are asked by the right people with the right positive energy and people behind it okay so please do it just take a minute to say thank you for helping parish productions do an honest documentary on the kylie rodney case and squash all the silly rumors that's what they need to hear and they need to hear it from all of you so do it and then I'll be right back here on YouTube to tell you guys what happened. What are the results from you guys putting this out there? And th this is it. This is how we're going to get to the truth, guys. So please do it. Please help me do this. And please help the truth come out. All right. Now, if you have no idea what's going on, I'm going to link a video right now at the end of this video. Click on it. Watch it, please. OK, I'll also link it in the comments and in the description. So if you didn't see the video before and you have no idea what I'm talking about or what's going on, watch that video and then this one will make much more sense. And then please go to the link and thank Sergeant Richard Gray and the Placer County Sheriff's Office for helping Parish Productions, P-E-R-I-S-H, do an honest documentary on the Kylie Rodney case 
to squish all the rumors. Please do it for me, for yourselves, for anyone that cared about this case, and do it for Kylie. Do it for Kylie's family. Do it for everyone that deserves the truth to come out and the people that lied to be held accountable. I'm counting on all of you. Don't let me down. I'll see all of you in the next video. And don't forget to click the link on this next video and watch it so you know what's going on. And if you haven't seen the other videos that built up to this, you can find them on my homepage by clicking my channel icon. And you'll also see the live feed scheduled there where I'm going to tell you guys everything they said. Okay? So thanks again for watching today. And I'll see all of you guys in the next video. Make sure you watch this video I link if you haven't seen it already. And there's a four more videos on my homepage that go with this. So make sure you see them or you won't know what's going on. And I'll see you guys in a couple days when I post another video and let you guys know what's next. And then when we do Crime Wire next Sunday, I'm going to release everything they said and gave me. Okay? Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys really soon.